to begin, you need an empty bobbin and a spool of thread. Take the spool of thread and place it on a spool pin. Draw the thread from the spool. Pass the thread through the top cover thread guide. Guide the thread around the bobbin winder thread guide. Insert the thread through the hole in the bobbin, threading from inside to outside. Put the bobbin on the bobbin winder spindle and push it to the right. While holding the balance wheel with your left hand, place your right hand on the stop motion knob and turn it, the stop motion knob toward you. With the free end of the thread held in your hand, depress the gas pedal. Count three seconds. We'll stop, cut the thread off right at the top of the bobbin to press the foot control again until the bobbin is wound as much as you need for your project. That's how to wind a bobbin on your new home sewing machine. While holding the balance wheel with your left hand, turn the stop motion knob toward you with the right hand. You're just loosening the stop motion knob. This disengages the needle from going up and down and allows you to wind your bobbin faster. For the next part, threading the bobbin case, you need your bobbin that you've wound and you need to open up your storage arm and find your bobbin case. First, you're going to hold the bobbin case like it shows you in the picture with the finger to the left. You're going to hold your bobbin like it's coming like a number nine or clockwise. It's winding clockwise. You're going to place your bobbin into the bobbin case, winding it clockwise into the thread slot. Pull it into the tension, just like that, and then hold it like this. You're going to take your storage arm off your machine. You're going to flip open the bottom, and you're going to place it into the machine, just like that. So the finger is up and leave about four inches of thread out. That's how to thread the bobbin case and place it into your machine. The next step is threading the top part of your machine. You're going to start with a spool of thread and you need to make sure that you have your bobbin case already in your machine with about three to four inches of thread coming out of it. We're going to start and draw the thread from the spool. Place it under the top cover thread guide just like you did when you wound the bobbin. Bring it over to this thread guide here. Just pull it forward. Now we're going to come down into the tension here. Pull it under the, the check spring loader here. There's a little spring. And then the left side of the take up lever, I, and pull it forward. And that's really important. Next, behind this thread guide, behind that thread guide. And then the hardest one is the needle bar. Bring it from the back to the front, and then finally threading the needle from front to back. There we have it. Place the thread under the skis and to the back. The last step in threading your machine is drawing up the bobbin thread. You're going to raise the presser foot and make sure that the presser foot is up. You're going to hold the thread from the needle with your left hand. Then you're going to turn the balance wheel slowly toward you with your right hand until the needle goes down and comes back up. One full revolution, only one. Then pull on the thread coming from the needle and do you see this loop here? This loop you need to pull through. That's the bobbin thread. Both of the threads go under the skis and to the back of the machine. Flip up the cover for the bobbin hook and put your storage arm back on. And now
now you're ready to sew. Once you've threaded your machine all the way with the top thread and the bobbin thread, and you've been okayed by your teacher to start sewing, grab a piece of scrap fabric from the scrap bin. Place it under the presser foot. Line it up, lower the cattail lever slowly, hold the two threads with your left hand, and with your right hand, you wanna turn the balance wheel toward you a couple of times, so two revolutions or three revolutions, and then you can depress the gas pedal slowly. Once you've got the gas pedal slowly going, let go of the threads, do a couple of stitches forward, test the back stitch by pressing the reverse button, and then press the gas pedal, do a couple of back stitches, let up on the reverse, and continue sewing. The key is to keep it accurate along one of the guidelines on your needle plate. So slow and steady, and let the machine do the work for you. Notice my fingers are barely touching the fabric. When you get to the end of a line, you're gonna hit the reverse button again, hold it down, do a couple of stitches back, and then sew all the way to the end. When you're done, turn the balance wheel toward you so the take-up lever eye is at the top position. Lift up the presser foot or cattail, pull the thread out enough so that you have about four or five inches, and you can use your thread cutter here on the side of your machine if you've got one. If it doesn't work, you wanna grab a pair of scissors and just clip the threads. And that's how to do a straight stitch. You want to back stitch at the beginning and the end of every stitch that you sew.